Hey boys and girls, welcome back. Today we're going to look at a new story. I know we've been doing a lot of the same ones, learning about the three little pigs, learning about Cinderella, and today we're going to listen to a different version of Cinderella. So what we know is we're all different people. Some of us come from different cultures or backgrounds. Some of us have different people that live with us at our homes. We have different foods that we like. That's all of what makes us unique. Well, we've all heard the traditional story of Cinderella, and we also worked on that a few days ago. But what we're gonna do today is we are gonna listen to a different version of Cinderella. And you can see it's right here on our screen, Adelita. We're gonna listen to that today. And what I want you to do is I want you to find some similarities and differences in that story today. So we know the traditional Cinderella. We know, Ad and now today you're gonna know Adelita. And then there's something that you're gonna notice that's similar about both of them. So I want you to pause me and make your paper look like mine. Okay, now that you have it set up, while you listen to the story, write some things down. Remember, this is called a Venn diagram. On this side, we write things that are only applied to the traditional Cinderella. This side, we write things that only apply to Adelita. And in the middle, we write things that happen in both stories. So we're comparing and we're contrasting. Now pause me, go listen to your story. All right, welcome back. So you could see, hopefully you wrote some things down. If you haven't yet, you can write it down right now. There are some things that are similar about both stories. We would put that right here in the middle. Both of them, the, the main characters, so Cinderella or Adelita, they both meet a man. And they both end up marrying that man. That's something we could write in both of them. Now, in Cinderella, there's a few things that happen differently than in Adelita. So we would write those on this side and the others on this side. So think of maybe three things for each. You're a third grader. I bet you could do three for Cinderella, three for Adelita, and three for both really stopping and thinking about what we listen to in the story and writing down your thoughts. We'll see you tomorrow.